One of the earliest attempts to imitate the four-legged motion of animals was this walking truck, built by General Electric in the USA as far back as 1965. A human operator was suspended in the body and he gave the commands to each of the legs through a hydraulic system that followed the movements of his arms and legs. This machine was capable of quite impressive feats in the laboratory, tossing a jeep out of the way for example. The strain of thinking about which leg to move next exhausted the operator after about 15 minutes and he had to take a rest. Nevertheless, the walking truck was considered a landmark in the design of walking machines. Another GE invention is quadruped. Duplicating the movements of the operator's hands and feet, it can apply great force. More important, quadruped knows its own strength and is capable of great gentleness because the operator can literally feel whatever resistance it is meeting. The quadruped was developed for the United States Army as an experimental vehicle for rough terrain. Only one quadruped exists. It is currently dozing peacefully in a U.S. Army warehouse in Detroit, the temporary victim of a budget slash. The technology that went into its creation is available for future applications. The interfacing of this technology with a more advanced one will bring us that much closer to the realization of a mechanical man. All these machines, marvelous and ingenious though they may be, serve only to augment the human muscle. It is the human muscles that guide these machines